Hi guys, welcome to Hooked for Life with Mary Beth Temple. Thanks for stopping by. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at how to make join as you go granny squares. Now, this is the concentric cowl, which is a free pattern on the blog, and I'll have a link in the description. But what we want to learn how to do is as you're putting the final round of your granny on, if you join it to the one before with the slip stitches, you have far less finishing to do at the end. And more importantly, for people like me, far fewer ends to weave in. Oh, I hate weaving in ends. So let's take a quick look at how to do this. Now, for this particular pattern, I'm only joining one square to the one before. At the very end, I'll have two to join together. But this is a trick that works no matter what kind of project you're doing or how many squares you're joining. So this is a four round granny square, one, two, three, four. So I have completed three. And then on the fourth round is when I'm going to do my joining. So what I, when I make granny squares, now there are as many ways to make grannies as there are grannies, but I do one chain between my side shells and I do two chains at the corner. Some people do three, some people don't do any, or they'll do one here and none here. You'll figure it out because you want to make sure that it looks nice, but however you do your grannies, there is a way to make this work. So every time that I want to join to the, uh, now that's called the adjacent square because when it's done, they're going to be right next to each other. So every time I want to join to the adjacent square, I'm replacing one of the chains with a slip stitch. So since I normally do two chains in my corner, I'm going to replace one with a slip stitch. So I'm putting in this corner, I'm looking for the chain space in this corner. I'm going to make one slip stitch and then a chain. So the slip stitch replaces one. I put in my second one and now I'm going to finish my corner by putting three doubles in the corner. <clears throat> Excuse me. By the way, while I'm stitching, this is a uh, haute bohème yarn. Mimi DK. And if you go over the blog to check out the pattern, there's a link out to the yarn. The yarn is luscious and hand dyed, and this is not an affiliate link. So there's my corner. My corners are joined. So now the next place I want to join is over here, right? Because that's the next chain space. So again, instead of chain one shell in the next shell, I'm going to join in the adjacent square with a slip stitch. The slip stitch replaces my chain one and I'm going to put a shell right here. Whoops! Or I would do if I had that blue out of the way. One, two, three. Now you may notice that I am doing my slip stitches by going top down. You can do top down, you can do bottom up, but pick one and stick to it. Do not go back and forth. So there's my corner join. And you see how these guys are lining up. And there was my first side join. And now these guys are lining up. So I'm going to slip stitch over here. Again, I went top down because that's what I like. You can go top down or bottom up. Just be consistent. And then three over here. Now, if this granny square was 8,000 rounds big, you could just keep doing this all the way across. All right, I got another join over here. And now I'm going to start my corner. One. Two. Three. Yes, I tension my yarn. Oddly, that's just how I am. I'm going to replace one of my two chains with a slip stitch. There's my second chain. And then I'm going to head off in the next direction. Now again, for this particular pattern, I'm only joining on the one side. All right, you see how neat that is? And consistent. You don't want to uh, make them too tight. You don't want them to uh, yank up on top of each other. Just keep that slip stitch in line with the rest of your gauge. Um, so for this particular pattern, they're going in a column. 
And then uh, for the last granny, you join on both sides because you're joining them into a circle. But if I was making a blanket, I could join on two sides. I could join on three sides. I could join on all four sides, depending on the shaping of the garment or the home accessory that I was working on. But that's how you do it. It's not that hard. Uh, again, it is a different look, but holy Pete, if you're doing something that either has a lot going on with the yarn like this does and you don't want that seam to draw attention or you're doing a piece with a huge number of motifs and you don't want to join later, join as you go is the way to go. So thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe to the channel for fresh content weekly on knitting and crocheting and general crafts and sewing and whatever else I get up to here at the beach. Thanks for stopping by you guys. Bye-bye.